Alright, so um, this is uh, my Crosley like new recent telephone. It's definitely not a 1957 one that's like off the street. It's definitely not that. It's a recreated unit in a mall quite far back, like 10 to 14 such. And uh, I'm going to take it off the wall and show you a closer look. Alright, I took it off the wall to give you a closer look at it. Uh, like you see, I did um, custom make this. I put this on top. I think underneath it, it just has some other information on it. You know. Yeah, you don't actually need to use coins in this unit. It's more of a coin bang than it is an actual pay phone. Uh, the key in here, this has nothing to do with the functionality of the unit. It's just an empty thing. Nothing's connected to it. It's just completely for aesthetic purposes, but it does have to have a locking coin bank, and you put the coins in here, and yeah. Not a real coin bank. It's it's not real. It's just coin bank. But you know, whatever. Coin release button doesn't do anything. That's actually a redial function, which only works with tone dialing. Over here, you have the keypad, which is not an actual rotor. It's a bunch of buttons arranged. Yeah. And this part over here. There's a piece of plastic here, and you can actually remove that and put like a piece of paper with your phone number on it, or like a phone or number on it. Yeah. Over here, you have the handset, which is actually good quality, decently heavy. You no, know, it's not like it's a little little piece of plastic or anything like that. So I'll give them that. And the microphone is just a single hole, but whatever. It sounds decent enough. It is. It's a phone. It's not going to sound like it's you're listening to a surround sound Dolby 5.1 or whatever I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. You know, it's just Crosley on it. And uh, yeah, a lot of people say this is cheap stuff, but you know what? Yeah, it's just decent for what it is. Don't actually remember how much I paid for it. I know it was also available in red. But, yeah, I know that Crosley is not exactly known for making the best products, like, they're, they're Crosley Cruiser record players, they're just, oh my god, they're just horribly designed, but, you know what, I don't even have a record player, so what am I even saying? Uh, here's the core, the cable, it's actually really long for a phone cable, like, look how long this thing is, and yeah, it's a little bit stretched, but, yeah, just look how long this thing is. They definitely did not need to make it this long, like, like, like this would have been enough for a phone cord, but they, they, they added all this. It's really long. It's a really long phone cord. Also, this is just plastic. It's all plastic. All of this is plastic. There's no metal. The only metal thing are the screws and the key. That's like the only metal thing in there. But, except for the lock, too. The lock is also metal, but... Yeah, there's, there's this is all plastic. There's very little metal in this thing, but... You know, it's cheap, and... Uh, that's why it's so cheap. It's just plastic. All these coin things over here... They're all the same. There are no different slots. They all go into that coin bank at the bottom I showed you earlier. And it's dusty. Over here is not a, is not the ringer. This is actually just a bell. When you insert coins in here, it just rings a bell here. And it just goes into the coin bank. The ringer is actually like something in here or in here. It's just a little piece of beeper. It goes beep. It's fixed really cheap sounding, but whatever. Um, over here, just wraps your phone cable, and here is the port where you put the phone into, phone line into. Mac manufactured July 2014, so it's very recent. Uh, let's see here, Crosley. It's model C8 CR56, and over here is where you can wrap a cord around if you if you're just hooking up right to a wall. You loop the cord around there, safe space, and here is where you could loop the cord around if it's the cable port or something else. Over here, the ringer settings, you have off, low, and high. I have it off right now because, nah. And here is the the dialing mode. You got tone and pulse dialing. In case your area doesn't have tone dialing, which I don't think there's many areas in the world. At least in the United States, that doesn't have tone dialing. Huh. And here's the volume for the receiver. They have high, medium, and low. It's have high. And it's not even, I don't even have this put into the phone line most of the time. See, the line is there, but that goes all the way around to that phone, which I did a video on over earlier. You can see that. So. And, uh, here are the wall mats I do have on the wall. But, uh, yeah. Not too much to say about this. It's a very basic, it's nothing new, it's very cheap and generic. It's, uh, 
The only thing that's different from a lot of other phones that you find in like dollar stores or something is the fact that it looks like a 1957 payphone. That's like, that's all I can say about it. Maybe because it has an extremely long cord. But yeah, I guess I'll just do a call on it and I guess I'll let you hear the ringer. Okay, so this was going to be the call demonstration, but my phone daxing up and it's not receiving any cellular reception, so I can't show you the demonstration. I guess I'll just show it to you in another video. Hope you still enjoyed the video, and if you want to watch more videos, I got more videos. I did make a video on that phone too, so hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.